Hi there, welcome guys. Uh, we're going to be doing another SolidWorks tutorial today. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, making some home furniture. Uh, in particular, we're going to be looking at making a bookcase. Uh, now, this is just a very, very quick schematic tutorial. Uh, it doesn't go into uh, like a manufacturing status. It's just a very quick overview. More if you're doing a visual for a room and you need a, a couple of pieces of furniture. Uh, this is a very quick way, less than say 10 minute way of creating it. Okay, so we'll jump straight in and we're gonna select the front plane and we're gonna create a sketch. And we're gonna select the center rectangle. And we're gonna click the origin and drag it out. And you can see that we have our X, Y coordinates and I roughly wanna make it 400 by 600. So that's 400 and that should be okay there. So then I'll just do some quick dimensions 400 wide by 600 high obviously you can insert your own dimensions you don't have to do these dimensions and what we're going to do is we are going to extrude it to a depth of 250 mil now there's two options here you can either do a blind extrude or you can do a mid plane extrude now I find mid plane extrudes a little bit more useful um, as it means that you can uh, when you the parts into an assembly when you are mating you can then use planes to mate um, which just makes it that little bit easier and a uh, little bit better so we are going to create a mid plane extrusion uh, 250 and then what we are going to do is we are going to shell our solid and I'm going to shell it by 10 millimeters so as you can see it gave us a depth of yeah, so it gives a thickness of 10 millimeters all around on the front and on the sides as well. However, this is another quick tip. If we cancel the shell, we need to put a 20 millimeter fillet in. Say this was part of the design brief. So I'm just going to click on the edge there and then do connect it to the start face. And it patterns the fillet all the way around. And I'm going to say, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, if we go back to the shell command, <coughs> excuse me, and we still have 10 millimeters, if we click that open face there and show the preview, we can now see that it is going to fillet the inside edge as well. Now, that is obviously because a 20 millimeter fillet is greater than a 10 millimeter shell. It will force the commands. Um, it will force the command basically, so it will put a fillet on the inside as well, which is what we need. So it's basically saved as a task. So we're happy with that. And now what we're going to do is just go uh, normal to. And then we're just going to click on the face there. And we're just going to click sketch. And what we're going to do is just do center rectangle. Make sure that we have our snap to the center line. And we're just going to drag out to the edge. Click OK. And I think this bookcase should be a three shelf bookcase it just looks right okay now we've got a couple of options for dimension and we can either do the quick and simple way of just dimensioning every single thing like that or we can do uh, the equidistance equations uh, equidistance equations on this uh, will be we'll go over a little bit more so it's not equidistance equations it's equation driven um, dimensioning which is where we come up with a couple of uh, equations and if we change one dimension it'll, it will have an adverse effect on something um, so okay we need to now start dimensioning so I'll click on the very top shelf and you can see that we need that to be about 150 mil and I'm gonna make it the same so if I click at the bottom of the bottom shelf to the bottom inside edge and then make that 150 and then nice and simple I'm just simply going to click the center point and drag it to the origin and that makes that fully defined okay now we just need to make this fully defined as well just by clicking and dragging and if I just click and drag this edge over that will oh too far to the line it'll make a coincidence and it'll make it fully defined which is shown just on the bottom right hand corner of the SOLIDWORKS window. So if we just reorientate that there, and then if we just go features extrude, you can see that it's facing the wrong way. But if we do 250, you can see that it's actually making the um, it's actually making the extrusion 
go to the very back face. Now we don't want that. We want it just to go towards the back face of the shell. So if we go on the end condition and if we go up to next, you can see it's shortened our extrusion now to the inside face of where the shell is. I'm happy with that, so we're just going to click OK. And you can see that we have our shelves there. Very nice. Now what we are going to do is we're just going to put some feet on. So I'm just going to select the bottom face of the model. And I'm just going to go sketch. But what I want to do is click sketch. And then I want to offset the entities. And I'm going to make the offset 20 mil, And we need to reverse it so it goes to the inside, towards the origin. So when it's done that, we're going to click OK. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to click one of the lines, right-click, select Chain, and we are going to make it Construction Geometry in the Property Manager. And when we've made it Construction, we're going to click the circle, and we're just going to click and make circles in all four corners. Okay, so we're happy with that. Okay, now they are very missed match, but I'm just going to click shift and click and then shift and click and then shift and click or because we have nothing in the middle if I deselect all of them I can just click in the middle of the circle drag it out and we can highlight all of the circles like that however because we've highlighted all of the circles we can't actually perform commands so it is the shift and click method. Click on that, shift and click, shift and click, and shift and click. And we're going to make it equal. And we're going to pick one lucky circle and we're going to make it 20 millimeters in diameter. And we're going to extrude the circles out, not by 250, it's going to make the thing look very weird. We're just going to do it by 20 and click OK. Now this is extremely basic stuff you can create some nice features uh, you can create some nice features on the uh, the legs what we're going to do is we're just going to select fill it on all of the bottom edges and we're just going to make a fillet save 5 mil. click OK and we can even put a chamfer on the top of it if you really want to just make it look a little bit more different just add a little bit more detail be careful to select the edges not the faces select that edge there and select that edge and then click OK and you can see it just adds a little bit of detail to the feet okay so there we have it it's a very basic um, bookcase or like DVD case um, we don't really need to go into advanced uh, surfacing and advanced features. Uh, the basic sometimes does the job. So I hope you've enjoyed this very basic tutorial. Um, feel free to find us over on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash MA77design. Uh, or you can just click on the link in the descriptions to like us. Uh, we'll be giving you updates on all things uh, design based. And you can also find us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash ma77design. Uh, we hope you have a, a great day, guys, and we will look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.